Welcome to this getting started tutorial. Uh, I'm going to show you today how to download the Elias Studio free version and get it up and running. So first you click get Elias and you go to the category for game composers, get Elias Studio. And then you click the download button. And there you choose the Elias Studio free. Add to cart. And you get confirmation that it has been added to your cart. And then you view the cart and you can see there that we have the Elias Studio free. Elias Tiny Band, which is a sound library that's included for free. As well as the Elias Demo soundtrack, which will um, use uh, in the rest of the tutorials. Proceed to checkout, enter your credentials, create an account. Uh, we need your last name, first name, email address, and country in order to process the order. And uh, you create an account at the same time, so you will be able to download all the all the files from from your account on our website place the order you can choose to sign up for the newsletter which we recommend obviously and uh, now you can see that the uh, order has been received and you can download each zip file and what you do is um, you unzip and you can see that uh, a Mac version is included and Windows version and there's a quick guide which will help you um, get, get started and also the studio manual which is uh, more in-depth in this case we're gonna choose the DMG because we're on a Mac. Agree to the terms. And then just drag the icon to the applications folder and you're all set. Choose open. And now as you can see under my account on our website you can find what you purchased you need to go to the download engine and assets uh, where you can find the free version of the studio and also the demo soundtrack and the tiny band so open the studio and here you click on open project and you go to where you've downloaded the uh, the demo, double click, and here you're going to be using the free version, just click on use free. And here, as you can see, this is a multi-track uh, system. Here's the, in the inspector, you can see all the settings that we have put on each track choir strings brass percussion uh, you can see the levels which uh, pertain to certain triggers in the game in this case a fictional game here's the level slider uh, which lets you uh, uh, travel through the theme and if we hit play here you can see which level our uh, levels are activated and uh, if you drag to three you see that the music will flow to level three this way the different colors indicate different things and uh, we will go through these in later tutorials everything in more depth um, you see here that uh, there are stingers that you can choose for example, one bar pickup stinger. And uh, you have 
also action presets, which we also go through in more detail later on. The tabs down here are stingers, or the standalone stingers that are they're separate from the loop tracks mixer. Action presets. We have uh, uh, this was the one we used the two battle. Uh, you can see uh, the settings there. Uh, we have track groups. We have generators, uh, which is for MIDI, and uh, the transition settings. We can also go back to the objective theme here and. The grayed out area uh, represents uh, what's not available in the free version. So if you unlock Pro, you will not see that grayed out area. Uh, here you can analyze for smart transitions, uh, save your project, export delivery package, change studio settings, unlock Pro, record, and go to your account on uh, our website and you can also go to the shop on the website and that's all for now and uh, enjoy the rest of our tutorials <laughs>